what's up my sand dolls and welcome back to my channel and today i'll be doing a hair tutorial on how i got this fluffy cute little bantu knot on an old blowout i had a blow off about a week and i decided to vamp it up with a little curly fro and this is how i did it so i started out with about a week i think a two week or a week old blowout i don't really remember and then i use this light it's not really an oil it's more watery than the oil which is why i always use it because i don't want to weigh my hair down or have it too oily and i have to wash it so i started off by putting it on my scalp and all over my hair and then i'm gonna section my hair off using these little rubber bands and basically i'm gonna do one section in the front because i'm gonna do my front different from how i do my back and then i'm gonna have two sections on the back one on each side and that's all i'm doing right now And so after detangling, I will be using this ORS Curl Defining Cream to actually do the bantu knots. It's a really thick cream. It's not watery, which is why I used it because I didn't want to actually get my hair wet. And then it revert back to its, um, excuse me. So I used a very creamy cream to do these twists. And basically I did two twists in each section. So I sectioned off half and I used a rubber band to do that. And then I just took a good amount of the cream and I just started to put it everywhere but my hair felt so dry I ended up using so much cream like I really oh like I OD'd on the cream but in the end it was good my hair was really soft and it smelled good so you know no regrets but oh yeah and I'm talking to my mom I'm gonna be talking to her throughout this video but yeah I just kept applying it I did not do too much to my roots because I wanted my roots to still be kind of stretched so I can get more of a lengthy look and then I thought felt like I had enough on there I detangled it a little bit more and I twist the roots I twist at least three-fourths of the way down and then I left the ends loose and then I just combed it through with a brush after I put a little bit more cream up there and that's basically how I did all of them so I'll come back and tell you how I did the front differently And now that I'm at the front, you guys can see I have two in each back section, one in the middle. And then I already did, I think that's my right side or my left side, I don't know, two over there. But I start off by parting my front side in diagonal sections. And I'm starting the outside to show you guys how I'm going to do it. So basically, I do everything the same way. I start with the cream, put as much cream as I possibly can up there to make it feel moisturized and everything. And then afterwards... Well, I do put a little on the root in the front actually, but not that much. I do put some up there, but I bend to not coming closer to my face so that I can have the, I guess you can call it helmet hairstyle or just a bang or whatever, whatever you want to call it. But that's how I do it. And I really take my time to go through the section and everything in the front, but I basically do it the same way. I split it. I twist it really tight coming down so that it'll actually flow that way in the morning and Smooth out the ends, bent to knot, and that's pretty much it. And when I finished in total, I think I had nine bantu knots. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I had nine. And I ended up redoing the middle one because it was just too loose for me. So I ended up redoing it before I went to bed. And I went and felt around for any loose strings to tie around the bantu knots. But I did spray a little bit of oil over all my knots before I went to bed. And now I'm just going to put my bonnet on and I'm going to go to sleep. And this is the next morning. I did do my eyebrows because I just felt like having nice eyebrows. And I have on lashes from my lash collection there in Style Cinderella, which is currently sold out at the moment. You know, thank you guys. But I'm using the same oil I used in the beginning of the video. I put a little bit on my hands because, you know, it's a lightweight oil, like I said again. So I put on my hands while I untwisted the bantu knots. And the way you untwist bantu knots is you just go the opposite direction. And you just pull on them pretty much. And that side wasn't actually dry. Everything else was dry, but that one back section was not dry at all. Well, it was dry, but it was still moist. 
but yeah I just took them out and then I'm gonna take a little bit more of the oil before I start to actually untwist them and pull them apart and I did not have a certain way of, that I put them apart but I did twist around my finger to keep the curl at the end of the hair but to separate I just separated I mean I have frizz in the end whatever you know that was that's my style I don't like to find hair unless it's just the ends which is why I curled the ends but everything else was frizzy but I loved how it turned out so I really didn't care about the frizz And once I finished, I guess, taking them apart and, and you know, whatever else, I just kind of flipped my hair around. I took a comb instead of a pick because I was too lazy to get a pick. So I took my lots of comb and started to, you know, fluff it out and pick it out to make it kind of bigger and to get rid of the parts and to just, you know, make it come one, I guess you can say. My hair on one side would, did look a little different than the other side. I don't know why, but after a few days, everything just started to look more uniform and you know i guess bigger as the days went by but i did not wrap my hair at all so it was very frizzy by like the third day but yeah so this is really the final look this is all that i did and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe you know become a part of sin city and for all my old subscribers thank you guys for coming back for another video and i hopefully i will see you guys in my next one this is sin signing off peace Sin City wasn't made for you Angels like you